Hello everyone. In the last chapter, we had studied differentiation. In this chapter, we'll study the application of differentiation or derivatives. Basically, this chapter is divided into three subparts. In this first subpart, we'll see the application of derivative as a rate measurer. That means we'll see how derivative of dy by dx. is used to find the rate of change next we'll see how to find the slope equation length of tangents and normals using derivatives and at last the third subtopic under the application of derivatives is to find the monotonicity of a curve maxima and minima of the curve the third subtopic itself is a very lengthy topic so what i have done is i'll cover this two parts in this chapter and this part will deal as a separate chapter okay so let's begin with the first part that's let's see how dy by dx is used as a rate measurer let's say i have a function y equals to f of t now in this function if there's a delta t change in t delta t change in t will bring about a delta y change and such that delta y by delta t is nothing but the average rate of change okay now when this delta t approaches zero delta y is also in infinitesimal small quantity and this delta y by delta t becomes dy by dt and now it, the average rate of change gets converted into instantaneous rate of change okay so that means what given a function y equals to f of t the derivative of the dependent variable y with respect to the independent variable t gives the rate of change of y with respect to t or in other words it gives the differential change in y with respect to differential change in t okay now let's take a problem so that you understand this concept very clearly let's say or you have been given a curve x square x cube equals to 12y now you have to find the interval in which the change in abscissa is more than the change in ordinate that means what delta x should be more than delta y okay or in other words t x by dy should be greater than 1 what's dx by dy so differentiate both sides with respect to y in this case when i differentiate with respect to y what i get in the left hand side is this on the right hand side i'll get a constant so dx by dy is 4 by x square now what is said from this quantity is that 4 by x square should be greater than 1 what i have done is i have just put the value of dx by dy here that means 4 minus x square x square should be greater than 1 now here you see that in the denominator you have a term x square that means what 
x should not be equal to 0 because when x becomes 0 this becomes an undetermined quantity okay so first condition is that x should not be equal to 0 now 4 minus x square should be greater than 1 assuming that x is not equal to 0 that means 2 plus x 2 minus x is greater sorry here I have made a mistake this should be greater than 0 should be greater than 0 because I have taken one this side now which means I have taken minus sign common x plus 2 should be less than 0 which means that x should lie between minus 2 to 2 so is this the solution can x take all integral values between minus 2 and 2 the answer is no because first condition what I have got is x should not be equal to 0 so my final answer should be x belongs to minus 2 to 2 minus 0 so this is my answer okay. so this was all about the first subtopic that is dy by dx as a great measure now we move on to see the slope of tangent and normal